If you're looking for a great YouTube network to join, apply for full screen with the link in the description. To trade your games in for a better value, use leaptrade.com and use Broken Games HD as a referral. All right, what's going on, everybody? So just bringing all of you some Bloodborne gameplay, an actual boss fight, the uh, Cleric Beast, which is the uh, first boss you should encounter when you play the game, which I made the mistake by actually skipping him the first time around and going to the second boss, which resulted in me getting my ass kicked. Um, and as you can see there, uh, I just recovered my blood echoes because I died from him once. So he's not too hard of a boss since I was able to beat him my second time around, which is this one. Um, and you saw me pick up my blood echoes. That's pretty much the same thing as picking up your souls, you know, from Demon Souls, Dark Souls. Leading into the other thing I wanted to talk about, like I said, I'm not going to get too much into the quality of the game or my first impression so much. I want to save that for my next video. But I can assure you, if you like Demon Souls, if you like Dark Souls, you're going to like this game. You're probably going to love this game. It's really just those games with better visuals um, and it's faster paced. It's a much faster, quicker game than the, the predecessors, you know, um, Dark Souls and Demon Souls. I know they're not like direct um, sequels or anything like that, but spiritually. So it's just a much faster game. You're much quicker, enemies are much quicker, everything is quicker. So it balances itself out and I prefer it that way and don't look at it as a Demon Souls Dark Souls clone it's definitely not they made some changes in this game that are enough to give it give it its own identity right of course it feels and plays just like those games but there's enough like I said uh, things that differentiate it from from those games in terms of the play style the weaponry and everything like that the enemies are just as hard uh, just as cheap also there's a great variety in, in different type of enemies also early on and I, I really like that and in this boss fight versus the cleric beast they really should have named this this is not a cleric beast boss fight this was a boss fight against the camera angle really that, that's really what you're fighting in in, in this sequence the, the camera and I it's funny because that's something that they've been known to do I think they do it on purpose um, just to make it harder I mean technically you know a technical um, part of the game shouldn't be what makes it harder but I think this is definitely something they do on purpose and as you can see I was struggling with this a little bit I was very paranoid uh, very kind of scared because I didn't want I, I wanted to make sure I, I beat this boss and I didn't want to lose all my blood echoes because like I said in this game it's called blood echoes um, because strangely, I think, and obviously this is by design too, pretty much they make it so that you're not able to upgrade any abilities until you encounter the first boss. Unless I'm missing something, unless I went about doing something wrong. Pretty much, you know, you collect all these blood echoes just like you collect souls in the other games. And usually before, in the, in the past games, before you even got to a boss, you uh, ran into the uh, person you need to speak to in order to upgrade. No. In this one, they make you collect all those blood echoes, they allow that, and then you're not able to upgrade until you encounter your first first boss, and then you may possibly die, which is what a lot of people did. They die on the first boss at least once, and then and then they put you right in front of the person who you can upgrade your abilities with, right? But you can't upgrade because you just died at the boss. <laughs> it's, it's like a troll. Hey, you want to upgrade your abilities? Nah, you can't do that yet. Go fight that boss and die first and then lose all your echoes in which you need to upgrade your abilities and then come see me. That's pretty much what it is. That's why I was so desperate to kill this boss so then I could get all those souls I lost back um, and then, you know, uh, still utilize them to upgrade my ability. So I'm really enjoying the game. It, it's a really good game. Um, I did restart after I got about two hours in and there's no shame in that just to do things a little bit better around. So yeah, I'm going to be bringing y'all more gameplay. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all think about this first impressions video more in depth on the next video. Peace.